Hey guys, what's going on? Shinobi here, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I started up live streaming, got the new computer, really psyched about that. But this one isn't going to be really a gaming topic. This is kind of an off-topic type thing, kind of an observation that I've made, as you saw by the title of this video. And pretty much, it's plain and simple. I mean, I'm going to get right into it. It's kind of like a vlog, where I kind of like, I don't know, I've just been kind of thinking about this lately. It's kind of just like maybe kind of a rant, but at the same time, kind of like a vlog and something that I want to see your opinion type thing. And that's what a vlog's all about, right? Seeing your guys' opinion and expressing my own opinion. So, um, as you saw the title, you pretty much know what this video is about. It's pretty much the professionalism or lack thereof in the working world these days. Now, I myself, a little background information about myself and what kind of things I've done over the years is I worked uh, at the age of 15 I got my first real job and that's where I was working at a gas station uh, I worked in you know movie stores where I you know as a manager of movie stores I climbed up the ladder to get to manager um, I've worked at you know various restaurants I've worked at Lowe's I've worked all kinds of things. Work construction. Um, restaurant thing is where I really did learn just how to be a professional in what I did. Because you're paid through tips. So when you're paid through tips, you really want to try and maximize those tips, right? And that's essentially what I did, is I had to try and maximize those tips. And the only way to do that is to have really good customer service, is to just really give the customer a really great experience. And that's what it's all about, right? And it's not just in that though, it's not just all about the tips. Every job that I ever had, I was very professional and that's why I always climbed the ladder and that's why I've never been fired from a job and I've worked at least 10 different jobs over the course of 11 years of working that I've done. I've never been fired, I've never been written up or anything like that. I constantly would have customers go to my managers and you know give compliments about me. And I like that because when you have a job, not only are you there to earn a paycheck, but you're there to make a difference. And, you know, I know you maybe have had some jobs, maybe tons of you are working currently, or maybe you've had part-time jobs or whatever. I'm really curious to know what kind of jobs you guys have and uh, you know, experiences that you guys have had. But when you are in those jobs, it's very important to remember that you need to be professional. Now, I want to give you three stories in where the person wasn't professional. And it just kind of really bothered me. Now, I've seen this over the years when I lived in the States, and now that I'm back in Canada, I see it more often. And it's really just blows my mind. I mean, when I worked in the restaurant business, I was the top-ranked salesperson because I was a server. And then I climbed up the ladder even more, above server, you know, trainers, managers, stuff like that. Um, but when I was a server... I was rank one out of 165 different stores. That's quite a big accomplishment, and you can't get there by just, you know, going through the motions and just going to work and doing my job, and I hate my life. And even though I didn't like the job that much because I'm not there anymore, obviously, I still made the most of it while I was there. So these three stories are people that don't make the most of their jobs, and I'm not the type of person that I'm going to complain to their manager or try and get them fired or something like that, but I feel that what I could do is turn it into a positive thing, maybe help you guys, or maybe we can rant about situations that we didn't really like. So the first one here just happened very recently, and as many of you may know on my channel, I just got new internet, so I was pretty psyched. I mean, I'm with a company that I'm not going to... Ex expose the name because I don't want you guys like calling them up and trying to find out whoever this guy was or anything like that but uh, pretty much my internet package is 25 megabytes down and 10 megabytes per second up now that is really good and that's hard to find especially in Canada I mean I have to pay a little bit extra for it but because of the donators on the twitch and stuff like that they're essentially helping pay for that and I can make the stream better and I can do it in 1080 and stuff which has been going really great but the guy comes over, and he's supposed to be there between 12 and 9. Now, you all know the situation where you're like, oh yeah, 12 and 9, see you next week type thing. Well, actually, that was the only good part about this situation. He showed up at 12.30. So, uh, he called uh, to buzz downstairs, and I let him in. 
I got up, I had just woken up type thing, um, I had the modem in my room because they had shipped it to me, so I had it all ready for him and stuff, so I bring it out to the front room and I see this guy, very loud spoken guy, you know, just like, you know, you know, I don't know, like, at first exactly what he said to my dad that was talking to him at first, but he just rubbed my dad off wrong really quickly. That sounded perverted, didn't mean to be. Um, but he just kind of just was very quick to, with the, you know, rudeness, I guess. Because my dad, I could tell just by the, his body expression that he wasn't happy to begin with. Um, so I decided to monitor this. Now, whenever I have a technician or something come to my house, I monitor what they do because I know a lot about this stuff. So I want to monitor them and I want to make sure they're doing it right so it gets set up correctly. And they probably know more than I do, seeing as how it's their job. Uh, but still, I want to make sure it's done correctly and by my standards because I have pretty high standards in everything in my life. So I'm talking to the guy and he's trying to set up the phone line because it's a direct connection, it's DSL, uh, it's with a dry loop, so it's just like direct connect, it's so amazing, but that's beside the point. He's setting up the internet, and I said, hey, can you put the modem in my bedroom, because I want to be, you know, wired in, and I want to be as close connection as possible, so there's less travel distance, which less travel distance equals you know, better streaming. I mean, if I'm going to max it out as po as much as possible, I mean, then I want I want to be able to do it for something so easy like that. And he goes, oh, well, I can't run a cord from the front room to your bedroom, which, by the way, is only about eight feet away. And I said, why not? And he said, well, you know, uh, I think it's just very unprofessional to have the cords all messy and stuff. And I'm like, we had cable before. And as you can see, it's actually very tightly put against the corner of the wall all the way to the bedroom and it looks very nice and he's like well I don't know I mean you'd, I'd probably have to come back another day or something like that and the way that I figured it is he didn't bring a long enough cord that's probably what happened right there that was strike number one so I was like whatever man so he hooks it up like that and I was like wait is this on my okay let me get my router and bring it out here so I can you know run a cord or whatever and he's like oh no it's a built-in uh, router which a lot of modems have that nowadays and he was like so um, I'm just gonna you know hook it up right here and I was like I don't want the Wi-Fi on like whatsoever even if it's encrypted I don't want any chance of someone slowing down my stream I don't want the Wi-Fi on can I disable that and you know can you you know how do you, how would you disable something like that he's like, oh, I don't know any of that about that stuff or anything like that and I was like, okay, that wasn't strike two, but I mean, maybe you just didn't know, so that's okay. But uh, I did figure it out, by the way. Uh, I disabled it completely, and it wasn't just push a button on the side, Shinobi. No, it was like you have to actually go into the configurations and make sure that it's not on ever, because the button doesn't work 100% of the time, apparently, with this modem. So uh, then he keeps going on, and I go back into my bedroom, because uh, I was talking to my girlfriend on Skype on my current internet connection, right? So I had cable already, and we're still good till the end of the month. And I hear him in the front room talking to my dad, and I'm like probably about five feet away from him, standing by my doorway, and he goes, Do you smell like something rotten? Like something just smells horrible. Like he just, he says that. And what it was is, to, to paint a picture for you, my dad was packing up the garbage as he actually came to our house so he was about to take it downstairs it was right there he's about to take it downstairs and he says that now okay he made an observation but at the same time you don't say that because think about it what if it wasn't the garbage what if we just smelt bad which we don't but what if we did why would you even point that out that is very unprofessional strike two buddy so moving on so after that he does that and he hooks up the modem and then he goes, okay, it's all hooked up and everything like that. And I was like, okay, well, I'm like th trying to think. I'm like, okay, how am I going to run these cords and stuff? Because I don't want, I don't want to use my dad's long cord because it's a skinnier cord. Um, the thicker the cord, the more bandwidth that can travel through it. So I'm like, I might have to go get a new cord. And he's like, no, 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 no. You just do this. And he goes and grabs the cord out of my dad's computer, which was in the front room brings it, attaches it to the modem, and then walks into my bedroom, okay, I didn't invite him into my bedroom, walks into my bedroom, unhooks the, the cord that's currently in there, which I was connected to Skype talking to my girlfriend, so Skype connection gone, and then plugs it in, and I was like, whoa, what are you doing, like, kind of like, don't touch my computer, what the hell do you think you're doing, 
you know? And, like, he didn't ask. He's like, oh, he wasn't very polite about any of it either, which is, if he was polite about it, sure, I would have let him touch my computer or something, you know? Because I mean, he generally knows what he's doing. But that was just, that rubbed me so wrong. And that was strike three. And when he left, I talked to my dad. I was like, he was very unprofessional. And the thing was, too, he didn't even make sure the connection was going before he left. And that's another thing that just really just pissed me off. Because I was like, okay, one of you didn't hook it up correctly, and then we had to call another tech to come out here, just stay here. And he's like, oh, I gotta leave, I gotta leave, I gotta leave, I'm very busy. And my dad's like, oh, you're very busy, huh? Like, how, you know, how busy are you? And he goes, this, I kid you not, this is what he says, right before he leaves. He's like, oh, we're so busy right now, like, almost too busy, like... I mean, I like making $400 a day, but I'll be okay with making 200 if it wasn't this busy. And I was like, what the hell, dude? You do not do that. That's very unprofessional. You do not gloat something in front of somebody's face. You know, I mean, still, you don't know the situation. I mean, yeah, myself and my dad may make more than that. If, I mean, we don't. But if we did, I mean, we wouldn't be upset about it. But what if we didn't? You know, and, I, and obviously we don't. But, you know, you get what I'm saying. So, like, you know... You're in an apartment building, we don't make $400 per day, and you just gotta throw that in our face? Like, you can just say, yeah, it's really busy and making good money. That's all you have to say. Why would you take it a step further and just throw something in someone's face? Now, I personally don't care how much money he makes, and I'm not jealous of his job or anything like that. So I was, I would just go get that job. I love what I do. But the thing was, is that he went too far. And why would you do that? That's ridiculous. So that situation pissed me off, and I almost called up the company and complained about it. But I'm bigger than that. I'm going to let it go. He'll get caught one day, and he'll be doing something unprofessional, and he'll get in trouble. And you may think that I'm overreacting. Now, maybe my standards are a little bit higher than other people's because I worked in five-star restaurants. I was very professional in everything that I've done. Even when I worked in a crappy gas station, I was very professional. And it doesn't matter what you do, guys. I'm going to give you a couple more situations on jobs that, you know, aren't as fulfilling. So there is a coffee shop here in Canada that's very popular. Wink, wink. Um, wink, wink. Um, it's very popular. And the thing is, is that, you know, I mean, you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Anyway, so I walk into the, co to the coffee shop and I walk up there and I'm like, you know what? I mean, I've heard they have good soups here. Like, I've just heard it. I heard they have good soups because they do. And because I've had a lot of friends that have the same kind of quality of food, you know, standards as myself. And I walk up to the thing and I very politely ask the girl behind the counter. I say, excuse me, can you tell me what's in that soup? And I, I'm not going to say the name of the soup or anything like that. Um, but I said, can you tell me what's in that soup, please? Because it had like a bunch of different things in the title of the name. And... Like, I know a lot about food, and I know that there's certain different things in food. So I asked her what was in it, because one of it has onions in it or something. I don't like onions. I don't want to eat onions. So I said that to her, and she says, oh, let me look. And she looks in the computer, and she can't find any information. Then she walks over to ask somebody, and that person doesn't know either. Then she comes back, and I said, she said, what, you wanted to know, you know, what comes with the food? Like, what comes with the soup? Like, it comes with bread. I said, no, 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 no. What comes in the soup? I was very polite the whole time. And the girl standing next to her was like, um, we don't know what's in the soup, okay? So, they don't tell us that information. If you would like to know that information, you can maybe go online or call up them or something like that. Just very snappy. Now, I get it if you don't know. But at the same time, that's a manager's fault as well. Because if you're serving food... If you serve food in a coffee shop, a restaurant, whatever, you have to know what every ingredient is. And that is the law because you something could be very allergic for somebody. And if you don't, you know, get the, you know, if you get, say you're allergic to garlic and there's garlic in the food, you could die. I mean, that's a big deal. And I just like shrugged it off. I said, and she's like, and then the girl was like, do you want the soup still? I'm like, no, I don't want anything actually. And then I just left. Like... That is ridiculous. And I could have called up, you know, their manager of the store or maybe their general manager or maybe the, you know, regional manager or whatever, and they would have gotten in trouble for that for, or she would have gotten in trouble for acting that way. And that's just ludicrous. I mean, come on. 
You need to be professional. The last one here. Now, I take the bus a lot. I live in a big city, and in this city, we have an amazing bus system, and I love it. Now, a lot of the bus drivers usually have attitudes. They usually are, they need to stay on a schedule, they need to get things done, they're usually not very polite. Some of them are polite, but they're usually not very polite, they just want to go, 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 get it done, get it done. I can understand that, you know. I've worked in jobs where you just have to, you know, push it to the next level and try and get things done. I know what it's like. But the problem was, is I sat on the bus, well, I was standing on the bus. I don't sit down. I let the elderly people, I let the kids, let the people that can't stand up and hold the bar or something like that, I let them sit down. So I was standing up, and there's people talking, complaining about the bus driver, and I heard about it, and, you know, like, oh, man, he does, he's so ridiculous, he always takes stop breaks and stuff like that, like, all the time, like, they're only supposed to have, like, one break, like, every couple hours or something, he does it, like, every hour, or every 30 minutes, so we're driving, and the bus stops, and there's no bus stop there, or anything, and I look over, and I'm like, where's the bus driver, and I say that out loud, and, like, everybody hears me, I'm like, where's the bus driver, and then the one guy was like, he does this all the time, man. It's ridiculous. So I like, I look over, and there he was. He ran into the convenience store. He bought three bananas and then came back out. And it took him about, I'd say, four to five minutes, okay? People got to be places, you know? We have to do things. And, you know, we pay for this service. You pay to ride the bus. So... Anyway, so he comes back, and I'm like, is he carrying freaking bananas? Like, that's what I said, and people started laughing. He gets on the bus, and then, and, I, and like, I was like, are you serious? I said that out loud, and I, I know he heard me, because I've ridden the bus, bef like, after that, and he doesn't like me at all. He's actually drove past me before, because he heard me and doesn't like me. And I was talking shit about him, like, to the rest of the people, and he heard me. I was like, that's super unprofessional. Why would you do that? Like, I get it, you're allowed to have a break every, like, hour, like, every couple hours or something, but, you know, that's ridiculous, and that doesn't make any any sense to me, you know, because, I mean, yeah, you're supposed to get breaks and stuff like that, which, I mean, how else are they going to take a break, but at the same time, like, I was told by the other people on the bus that he'd taken many breaks in such a short time. Like, these bus people re ride the bus all the time. And the one guy was on the bus for, like, 45 minutes because he drove from pretty far away. And the guy took three breaks in that amount of time. Like, come on, man. Like, your job can't be that hard. Like, driving a bus is not that hard. I used to work 18 hours a day, no breaks, standing, serving, lifting, you know, lifting heavy things, doing that stuff, and this guy, oh, I need a break, oh, I need bananas, oh, I need, come on, grow up, man, be a man, drive the freaking bus, do your job, take your break when you're supposed to, do it like everybody else, why do you need a special exception? So, those are some of my rants, guys, and I guess the moral of the story, like I explained earlier, is that, you know, if you have a crappy job, or you have a good job, or you have a mediocre job, or whatever job you have, Try to be the best at it that you possibly can, because that only looks good for you. When I see people, when I go into restaurants or something, and I see people that really know how to do their job, because when I sit down at a, rest, a table in a restaurant, I know everything they should be doing correctly, because I've done it for so many years. And when I see those people, which is very rare, that I see those people that are really on top of what they're doing, they know exactly how to sell, they know exactly how to give good per, you know, professionalism, good customer service, those are the people that you go, wow, that person is smart. That person knows what they're doing. That person, you know, doesn't necessarily like their job, but they don't show it. And that's what's important. You don't show it because that's unprofessional. And, you know, that's just kind of my whole two bits about it. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say in the comments and all that good stuff. Anyways, I'm Shinobi, and until next time, thanks for watching.